Creating an account for Turnitin.com is really quite simple. All you need is the class ID number and password from your teacher, your school email address, and your school ID number. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is click on Create Account. Then you're going to get to this screen, and the first thing it's going to ask is if you've ever used Turnitin.com before. If you have not, then you're going to scroll down to Create a New Account and click on Student. First thing you need to do is insert your class ID number. This ID number will have been given to you by your teacher. Then you need to enter the class enrollment password. Now it's all about your information. The name of the student I'm using is going to be test student. So the first name is test and the last name is student. Here you actually have the option of choosing how you would like your name displayed on the screen when you log in. And then you're going to enter your school email address. Your school email address is your last name followed by the first letter of your first name and then your birth date. So in this case it will be student T. Then I'm saying that his birthday is January 1st. Then it's at WTHS.net. It's very important to put .net. Um, if you put .com you won't receive any of the emails, it's not going to work for you. Next is your password. We ask that all students use their ID number followed by the first letter of their last name as their ID number. The reason we ask this is because if you forget your password after freshman year and you're going on to its second, you know, sophomore year, we can just say ID number followed by the first letter of your last name. I suggest that you use lowercase because the password is case sensitive. Okay, now secret question. Again, for simplicity's sake and so that we can help everybody out if they forget their login and all of that, we're going to ask that you select what is your mother's maiden name as your secret question. And the answer is going to be popcorn. This way, if you're in the library and you're needing assistance there, the librarian can just say, hey, mother's maiden name, popcorn's the answer, and we can just move on instead of having to create a new account. Finally, you have to agree to the user agreement. Basically, this is you're not going to do anything illegal with the program. And then click on I agree. And voila, I am now in the English 1 Honors Period 1 class.